What is going on? I am out on a run right now. Maybe like a, a 5K run, something like that. I am currently in Campeche. So the last time I checked in with you guys, I was in Playa del Carmen en route to Mérida. I stayed in Mérida for one week and then I made a move to Campeche. I've been here for five days and now I am en route to Ciudad del Carmen. So I am gonna take you guys with me today and yeah, a little travel vlog action. Let's go, vamos. Check out all of these boats with these birds on them. I wonder which boat is like the cool boat, you know? High school cafeteria style. I wonder, I wonder what the cool hangout boat is. Woo, okay, just wrapping up my run here. You know when you're on a walk, a run, a bike ride or whatever, and you just sort of hit that groove where you feel like you could go forever, like slowing down would take more energy, but also speeding up would take more energy. You just sort of hit this smooth zone, this flow state where you feel like you could go forever. I had that awesome run, felt so good. I am gonna head back to the apartment now, cook up a bit of food. I had some coffee this morning. I typically move. Uh, fasted in the morning, you know, whether it's a workout, a walk, a run, something like that. But I'm gonna head back, have some food, and then we're gonna hit the road pretty soon here. I'm gonna catch the bus at either 11 or 12.30. We shall see just depending on timing. All right, team, just got back to the apartment, showered up, feeling fresh. Love starting the day like that, getting outside, getting some light exposure in your eyes, moving a little bit. It's just, it's awesome. Feel good. So now I'm cooking up some eggs and avocado, probably gonna have some grapes with that. And we're gonna pack up and hit the road. So I will show you what that meal looks like in a second here. All right, so we've got six whole eggs here with half an avocado and then a whole bunch of grapes. And like I mentioned, I had a black cup of coffee this morning. So I like to bias more of my carbohydrate intake towards the end of the day, because I find if I eat a whole bunch of starchy carbohydrates specifically, earlier on in the day, I tend to feel a bit sluggish. And I also just like to eat more at night. So what I do is I typically eat lighter during the day and then I eat more at night. And I tend to structure my clients' programs that way as well because they also tend to get sluggish. Most people get sluggish with large meals, especially large carbohydrate meals during the day. And also appetite is typically higher at night. We're much more likely to snack on treats and things like that. So it only makes sense to bias more food towards the evening for most people. Now, you might be thinking, don't carbohydrates at night make you fat? No. Doesn't eating a lot at night make you fat? No, it does not impair fat loss in any way, shape or form. What is king are calories. So as long as you create, sorry for the noise, a calorie deficit, it does not matter what your meal timing is like. You want to structure your program or your eating strategy in a way that has you adhere to your calorie deficit because that is what is going to yield you the results. So if you're not hungry in the morning, skip breakfast. There's no point in forcing food down when you're not hungry, when fat loss is your goal. Move or bias your food to a point in the day where you are most likely to eat more so you can maintain that calorie deficit and therefore get fat loss results. <laughs> All right, I just arrived at the bus station and we leave in about 30 minutes. So I'm just sort of pacing around. I'm not gonna sit down here because I'm gonna be sitting down on the bus for like three, three and a half hours. I don't want my back to hurt when we get there. So getting a couple extra steps in now, pacing around and we will head out in about 30 minutes. What's going on? So I just arrived at my apartment here in Ciudad del Carmen. This is gonna be home for the next week. So this is the front door. We've got a couch set up here and the kitchen, lots of space to cook some food. There's some laundry in there. And as we cruise around, there are a couple bedrooms, bathroom is there. 
This is the bedroom I'm gonna be hanging out in. And fortunately, there's patio here. Sun is gonna set decently soon. And this is the second bedroom. This is where I'm gonna keep my stuff and the patio connects around. So this is home for the next week. What's up gang? So it is the next morning now. And last night after you saw that grocery haul that I did, I came back, made some of those chicken burgers with some smashed avocado. Had some yogurt. So I had a full tub of that yogurt with some fruit, apples, banana. And then I had a little bit of papaya as well. Now I'm gonna put the full macros on the screen for you to check out and you will notice that I ate quite a bit more, well not a ton more, but more last night than I did in the morning. And yesterday was a lighter day, which travel days typically are just because I'm on the go and options, you know, at gas stations, you know, airports, stuff like that are just usually not the best. And so I'd rather just skip you know, whatever shit options there are and eat before I leave and then when I get back. Now you might be thinking after that grocery haul too, Marcus, where are all the vegetables? You help folks lose fat and get healthy. Why aren't you eating more veg? I've actually been experimenting with a lot less veggies in my diet as of late and I'm feeling quite good and I'm tracking my nutrient status and nutritional intake via chronometer. And I'm finding ways to meet all of my needs. So it's just something that I'm playing with. I'll probably do a future video on, you know, how I'm going about that if it does stick and I continue to feel as good as I am right now. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and let me know what type of content that you'd like to see moving forward because I'm really enjoying this YouTube thing. It's super fun, it's new, it's exciting, and I wanna give you guys content that you'd like to see, obviously. Also, follow me up at N1 Fitness on Instagram and the N1 Fitness on TikTok. I will catch you guys on the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.